If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you guys the fastest way to go about getting free rookie premieres. And a big reason why I'm doing this video, while well, you guys should already know, is because Man 24 is around the corner. And I know a lot of you guys still want to get rookie premieres. Here's the thing, right? A lot of you, I mean, I don't know if you guys know yet. Pretty sure you guys do. If you guys don't, I'll let you know right here. The rookie premiere ratings are going to be 84 overalls. The ultimate rookie will be an 87 overall. So I do want to uh, put that out there for you guys, just in case you guys want to know. Because that's the information that we got already. So we do know that for a fact. It's sad that they, they brought it out so late. I think that's ridiculous. They should have told us that ahead of time. But I'm not going to judge them because I don't know the ins and outs of how EA operates and what they got to do or if they're still figuring out certain things. So in the end, to me, it really don't matter. I had all the extra coins. What am I going to do with them anyway? 84 overall, it, in my opinion, are decent. The cards, once again, to start off with in the beginning, the first, even the first week or two weeks, it's going to help you guys dramatically. So for those who are still wondering, I wouldn't know. Here's the thing. I won't tell you guys, don't spend no money on them. For those who already did, it really don't matter because if if the only time you're going to spend money on them, if you want to complete all of them, right, get the ultimate rookie premiere, that's a little bit different. However, if you're still considering about spending money on them and getting more rookie premieres, I'm going to say no, right? I know this intro is a little bit longer, but I do want to point that out there. So I do want to give my advice on that. If you're thinking about spending money on rookie premieres, it's a no. Save that money and just open packs of Man 24 and take a chance. Hopefully you pull something great. That's my opinion on that. So let me go ahead and put that out there real quick. But let's go ahead and continue on. I got a few packs towards the end. I'm going to open up, see if I pull anything good. They're all free packs, so it really don't matter to me. So you guys see right here, I'm season five, fully leveled up. The truth of the matter is I could have had this done a long time ago. I was even running through it. I was grinding, but not as much as I used to because I know that I didn't have to because all long as I did basic things, I would have been able to complete it. I completed it even though I didn't have to. So let me go ahead and click on this and show you guys what you're going to be able to get, right? So here's the thing. These last two, I really didn't care for. I got them no either way though. Is that 100,000 coins, bro? What's well, 100,000 coins? I didn't realize, I thought that was 10,000. Bro, that's a lot more coins than I thought. So anyways, this Rookie Premier Set Token Pack Small was the last thing I was looking forward to. So I could give me some free Rookie Premieres, but because I got all my Rookie Premieres, now it really don't matter. Now I really, all I'm looking forward to was just getting it to uh, just give me more coins and try to buy new players for my Cowboy theme team. That's really what I was. But for those still new Rookie Premieres, Level 53 is least the highest you're going to go up to. However, if you still need to get more and you just need coins, look at this. Level 54, which I didn't even realize until now. I'm looking at it, even though I got it. That was 10,000. It's 100,000 coins. And then you're going to get a golden ticket on top of that, right? So both of these combine together, depending on what player you pick, and the golden ticket fantasy pack, which I'm going to show you guys right now exactly what it is if you guys want to see it. Um, you should be able to get one free rookie premiere using both just both of those, right? But as you continue to go down, you get more rookie premiere uh, tokens, and then this rookie premiere um, 32 team kins, which I showed you guys what it is is you're gonna get a collectible in Madden 23 to use on your rookie premiere players to get any 32 team kims, and then you're gonna get additional token that you're gonna be able to transfer into Madden 24 to put on any of your rookie premieres and Madden 24 to get the team cam of your uh, of your choice. So that's actually good. So I got that already. So that's one thing I wanted. And then I got a Matt, uh, Madden 24 strategy item. In my opinion, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't think it's going to be a crazy Matt strategy item. If it is, that would be cool. Like if it's like, for instance, say we start off in Madden 24 and there's a legendary card already, right? So if they give us the highest version of a strategy card, like this card ends up being a legendary card, which would be the highest one that we get, like say to start off with, then to me it'll be worth it. But in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be like that. I really don't. But I'll take it, though. It's free. It'll help me out within the first day or two or the week or two weeks, whatever, however long it's going to last. And that would be good because a lot of these cards don't last that long anyway as soon as you get them. That's, that's how Ultimate Team works. So if it can last for the first week or two, I'm happy with that. Or even the first couple of days, I will use that. Then you get these other cards, too, just to have on your squad for now, like Bo Jackson up to a 9-9 and a few other cards just to add to your team. Like a 50,000 coins, which I got. 
Yeah, can you upgrade another uh, another token? Pack small rookie premier 32 team cam. So you guys see right there, you guys already know you're gonna get tons of tokens. So now how to get them fast, right? So how let me go back in here. How are you gonna get them fast? Go over here to your daily objectives every single day, right? So here, here, here here's the thing. They upped that season XP. So I think that that was a big win, especially for those who need to catch up as much as they can. Even if you're just tuning into Ultimate Team right now for your first time and just jumped into the game to prepare for Man 24, you still have a chance to catch up. I won't say you'll fully max out your season pass, but you'll be able to get far. So you're gonna get 8,000, eight, seven, and five, right? So how much is that? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, eight. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, eight, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's what twenty-one thousand a day, twenty-one thousand XP a day. You're getting forty thousand XP a month, so you're gonna get forty thousand XP um, in two days. So that's what twenty times seven, seven, twelve, what hundred twenty thousand XP a week. Oh wow! So just by doing your daily objectives by itself, you're gonna get over. You're gonna get about one hundred twenty thousand XP a week. That's a lot of XP. And then when you go to your stat tracker, you're gonna get more season XP just for doing your stats. All right. So if, if anything, you guys should you guys should have just a little bit of stats to do left. And if you need if you need a little max out your season pass, then this is the time to start grinding out and get, getting getting these taken care of. Then you got your daily tracker, which I got one left. I'm not really tripping on right because I'm already leveled up. So if I get it, I get it. But the last one you're gonna see, you're gonna get 5,000 XP. But let's go down. 15,000 XP, 20,000 XP, 25,000, 30,000, 35,000, 40,000, 45,000. Depending on where you guys are, I won't say you'll get all of them done. Some of you guys will, but it's still worth the try to continue to do them day, uh, every single day to get as much XP as you can to level up your season pass. So I will say that. And then for completing all three daily objectives every single day, you're gonna get additional XP, which I think is like a thousand XP or something like that, or 800 and stuff like that. And then you got your program, um, Challenges, which look at that, you're gonna get tons of XP just for completing these. A lot of 10,000, 15,000 as you can uh, continue to get these done. You see where I got every single one done besides the recent ones, which the only reason why I didn't get recent one done is because I don't care. But let's go to the top though, because it's very important for us to check this out, which I just noticed right here. It says complete 40 objectives. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, oh, all right, all right. I, I didn't think there was. I just realized all I needed was two more. So I complete these two, these last two. So they did give us enough. All right. So I was tripping. For some reason, I didn't think they gave us enough with this last drop. So I did. I I must not looked at it right. So yeah. So these last two are going to give me an ad additional two objectives to complete, which I could be able to get this one done. And with that being said, I'll be able to get additional 10 rookie premier tokens, which is going to give me a free rookie premier. So that's one thing you're going to want to do too, is get all this stuff done. It's worth it to me. Why not? It's a grind. You're gonna be able to transfer to Madden 24, get yourself an 84 overall to start off with, and a player of you, a player of your choice that you're gonna want. So, complete 40 of I mean, complete 40 objectives. You're gonna get that um, 10 rookie premier uh, set token pack. So, to once again, I completely worth it. Grind that out, and then you got your competitive pass. And your competitive pass, I didn't fully complete mine because I already I got what I wanted. So, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna complete it no more. But for those who still need rookie premieres they need coins and all that to complete it get as far as you can i don't say you're, you're gonna need to complete the full thing but complete as much as you can in order for you guys get coins packs stuff like that to get you guys more coins to get rookie premieres but me i just did it to max out my season pass so i'm cool with that and that's all i needed but in order to max all oh, because today's monday okay i'm about to say man i really knocked out all the challenges i just realized that today's monday or well that I'm recording this video, so by the time you guys see it, it'll probably be something else. But anyways, Monday passed. So here's the thing. So yeah, I already completed the first set of series. So here's another set of these objectives. So you complete all these, you're gonna get uh, 30, 30 competitive points. So that's very much worth it. And especially if you need to uh, level up your season pass. These sets should have been done already. Solo battles, I will say do everything on MVP. Check this out. You're gonna see I didn't do no games on MVP because I didn't have to. All I wanted was 60 competitive points. I got it done. I'm done with solo battles. I'm done with it all. If I play, it's just gonna be for fun. I'm done. I maxed out my season pass. All I'm gonna be doing now is making continue to make videos for you guys to help you guys out. But me, 
I'm done. I'm just ready for Madden 24 to get it cracking. That's what, what I'm waiting for. We see right here, play on MVP or higher to get the most competitive points and you'll be able to get uh, as much reward as you can from the um, competitive pass. Mud Champs, I would play, do whatever you can, win or lose, play as much as you possibly can because you're going to get the most for your competitive points. And check this out. You're going to get Season XP, um, packs, more Season XP. If you want to know, it's right here. Bam. Packs, more Season XP, and so forth, right? So that's going to be able to help you guys get your Rook Premiere, and that's going to be able to help you guys get it as fast as you possibly can. So, with that being said, if you guys have any questions, please put in the comment section. Let me know what you guys need to know, and I'll try to break it down the best I can. So, anyways, there it is there. Without further ado, I'm out.